Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Book Lover 2 kit. Um, this is from Throwback Flashback February, I think they called it. This kit, Book Lover kit, is my white whale. I have wanted this kit for so long. This was the January 2019 kit and I joined Planners Anonymous in September 2019 and I was not able to go back and get this kit. Um, I have wanted this kit. I checked all the BST groups. I've wanted this kit forever. When they came out with the Craft Smith um, book it in Michaels. This book has some of the Book Lover 2.0. The first half is Book Lover. I'm sorry, not 2.0, the original Book Lover. And the second half is Books and Botanicals, which I was a subscriber and I did get that kit. But I never was able, I got the weekly kit of this, the vertical weekly kit, but I never was able to get my hands on any of the full kit. So I was fingers crossed holding my breath when they had the live where they had everybody vote. I actually wasn't logged in for the live, but I did go in and make my wishes known in the Facebook group. And luckily, Book Lover won. Here it is. I did Your Eyes Don't Deceive You. I did get an extra book. I love it that much. Um, an extra sticker book. And I did pull this out. This is my first kit that I got that didn't come in the pink box. Um, this is, uh, this one came in the mailer and I could tell the papers were going to be a little wrinkled and they, they were, um, but I, so I had them laying under my planner actually for several days and they're nice and flat now. They're just fine. No problem. And since I was in there, I could not resist looking through the book to make sure it was as wonderful as I knew it would be. And it was so happy about that. So, um, you're not crazy. If you follow my channel, I have not done an unboxing of Country Cottage. That is because Country Cottage was supposed to be in the pink box with the other two kits. Like many of you in the U.S. or probably everywhere in the world, you got three kits. Um, mine was supposed to be in there and it was not. And I waited a long time because I didn't want to bother customer service and as it turns out um, so they are shipping it to me but for those of you that are frustrated that you haven't been able to order Country Cottage this is a great example of why um, if they had sold every all the stock that they had um, and then found out that I was supposed to have it and I didn't get it that would have been heartbreaking for me and they would have felt bad about that so that is why that's just an example of why if if your papers are damaged or whatever they want to make sure everybody gets their their kits in one piece and they don't get lost or they don't say they were shipped when they weren't really shipped so anyway enough about all that let's go ahead and get into this i like to open the papers first because they're the biggest and they take up the most space on my desk so i do get the um the full kit. So here, this is everything you get in the full kit. You get a set of six papers, two copies of each one, a piece of acetate, and a piece of um, uh, vellum, printed vellum. And I will show that all to you. I add the additional stickers, which I didn't know until recently. I missed it. Um, it was apparently in the group that if you do the sticker only subscription, you now get the book. You don't get the two pages of sticker that come in the kit, you get the book. So, and then I also add the additional paper pack, which this you can see um, on the UPC there, it says additional. So let's get in here and look at these. So starting with what you get with the kit. Um, and I do uh, have a link in the description box of all my Planners Anonymous videos whether they're planner videos or unboxing videos, anytime I use any Planners Anonymous, I make sure that that link is in there. That link will get you 10% off your firm first month's subscription and you must subscribe for two months. And then you can start skipping or you can cancel your subscription if you don't like it. Um, but the color saturation, the style of artwork, I just, uh, to die for. Um, so anyway, here's the first paper. Like I said, two copies, they're eight and a half by 11. So this one's got a cute little bookshelf with a step ladder there. And then the back side is always this kind of watercolor design in one of the colors in the kit. So in this one, you've got like a dark brown, like a coffee color. So two sheets of that. The next one is this fun um, page. It's got kind of a Harry Potter feel to me with the keys because I just think of that scene 
where they're down, they've made it past Fluffy, the three-headed dog, and they're, um, they're in the room with the keys that are flying around. Um, it looks like the books are flying. Such a cute, cute, cute piece of paper. And then the back side of this one is kind of that uh, reddish purple color, as, as opposed to more of the bluer purple. This is a little bit more on the redder end. And then the last one is um, the succulents and the books mixed together. Oh my gosh, just so pretty. I just did a spread in my wellness planner um, a week or a week and a half ago um, with the purple and the green and uh, it reminds me of these, so, so pretty. And then the back side of this one is the nice, this nice green, bluey green color. So those that is again, part of the standard kit. And then you also get a piece of vellum. So for those of you that don't know what vellum is, it is a somewhat see-through, slightly opaque. You can kind of see my hand through there. Um, sheet of paper, pretty delicate. I love, I love vellum. It's so pretty. I have laminated this um, to use as a cover. I've laminated it to use as a bookmark for those of you that want to see or a dashboard and you can stick post-it notes on it or whatever. Um, you can laminate vellum, no problem. And as you can see, this matches this one paper. And then the last is the acetate, which is the super, super shiny plasticky stuff. And so this particular one is gold. They always are silver. At least everyone I've ever looked at is silver on the back. So you can use the gold side or the silver side. Again, I have laminated this as a bookmark. I haven't actually used it as a cover. You could use it on its own and just um, punch it and use it as an overlay. If say you have um, a planner and you like all the dashboards but one, or you just kind of like the dashboards, you could, you could use the vellum, you could use the acetate, you could use the vellum and the acetate together cut them to page size, punch them, and just have them over the divider to add a little bit of flair to your planner. That's one way to think about using it. So, okay, that again, that is the standard paper pack. So now the additional paper pack, if you pay a little bit more and you get the additional paper pack, you get another copy of the vellum and the acetate. So then you have two of the each of those and you get three more sets of paper. So six more sheets. Just like that, you get, they're all different designs. The vellum and the acetate are the same, but the papers are all different. So this one is the additional paper pack. Oh my gosh, this is rose gold. Wait, it's rose gold on the back. Usually it's, is that, is it really rose? It's like a pinky color. I don't know if you guys can see, probably not, but this one was silver on the back. And this one, is it? Or is it just like reflecting weird light from somewhere? No, I think that's pink. I think that's two different colors on the back. I know it's impossible for you guys to see with all the glare, but I think this one's pink. I've never seen that before. I just got done telling you how they were always silver on the back and this one is seriously is pink. Okay, anyway, all right. And then your acetate or your vellum is always going to have one side that's just a little bit more vibrant than the other. That's how you can tell which side it's printed on. So there are two copies of those. All right. And then the d papers in this pack. So you've got just rows of succulents with a pink background for the first one. So pretty. And the back side is a different shade of brown. This one's not quite as dark or red as that first one. Um, this one, super cute. Look at this one. So you could cut this and use this hat. I love these big scenes because what I like to do is cut them and use like two thirds of it as um, a cover and the other third as a dashboard. So you could cut it like here and make laminate that and make it a cover. You have to mount it on some things to, to make it big enough, or you could just have the clear showing through, or you could use some washi tape, lots of different ideas, um, and have this piece as the bookmark. I guess it's more like three quarters, or vice versa, you could go here. Um, and then the back side of this one is this beautiful bluish green color. Again, with the it's like a watercolor look. It's not just a solid color, which is fun. It adds more interest. And then another, um, the last sheet is another um, kind of just 
hodgepodge scene of the open books and the closed stack of books and all the succulents. And the back side of that one is a is more a little bit more of a blue or purple as opposed to that pinky or purple we saw before. So that is that is all the papers you can get. Now if if there's a digital kit, there might be more, but usually the papers in the digital kit, and I don't have a ton of experience with the digital kits. Um, I, I would direct you to um, Katie Baker of Baker Lane Studios, um, and I will try to remember to link her YouTube channel. She does a lot with the digital kits. She is very addicted. She'll be the first to admit that she's addicted to the digital kits. So check her channel out if you want to see even more. Um, she does some great stuff where she actually puts the... Um, you can buy in her shop, you can buy the actual PD, or not PDFs, um, PNGs, so they're transparent, um, different planner layouts, like vertical or horizontal or whatever dashboard layouts that you can put right over top of the graphics on the, on the papers um, and just print your pages, which I've printed on pages, but I haven't actually printed my pages. So um, check her out. And then, so this is then what you get the rest of the kit. So you always get the stuff in here if you subscribe to the full kit. So this is the bonus item. Sorry I didn't warn you all not to look if you wanted to be surprised. But this is this month's bonus item. And it rotates. Um, sometimes it's a pouch. Um, I believe um, we recently got a pen holder. I think that's the kit that I'm missing. Um, sometimes it's a sealed pouch, sometimes it's a pouch that can be folded open, uh, magnetic bookmarks, all kinds of different stuff. So if I can get this out of here, there we go. So this is a magnetic pen holder. So it's, there. the two ends are magnets. And then this part, so if you slide it way onto the piece of paper, it's just a bookmark. It says you are here. But it's fat enough you can fit a pen in there. So it's a pen loop slash bookmark. Pretty darn cool. What I mean by sliding it on there, I'll just show you. Um, so for example, if you put it on there right at the edge with this part sticking out, it's a pen loop. You can put it all the way on though too. You don't have to use it as a pen loop. But I just think I, I never use those adhesive pen loops because I'm always afraid like what if I stick it to this cover or divider or dashboard and then I want to, I decide I want it on another one, like the adhesive won't work anymore, right? So the cool thing about this magnetic one is you can use it over and over and over. Here is the pen. So I just found out, I was this many years old, um, when I found out that the metallic, the hardware on the pen matches the foil of the kit. So since this is a gold foil kit, the hardware on it is gold. And then look at the little crystals in there. Oh my gosh, I love Swarovski crystals. Um, and that's what this makes me think of. And then it's, it's hard to read, but it does say Planners Anonymous on the little hasp there. But this, um, so there you go, you could use this. How cool, it's so pretty. I love that. There you go, okay. So we need we need now a melody to go with this. So ha hashtag um, clear the warehouse. If you're just watching this, um, I love their melodies. They do have a classic size Happy Planner Melody. This is Northern Lights. This is one of the newest ones. Um, and you can put your pens right in there. Uh, but you can you can get these right now. A lot of the classic size ones for Happy Planner, they're super roomy. I have almost full size expander discs and I've got tons of room if I wanna use the um, strings. I'm not gonna digress too much further. I will link in the cards up above my unboxing and setup video of this particular Melody. I have several, I have a Christmas one, um, but yeah, just great. I love their Melodies, so okay. You always also get a stamp kit. So this one is pretty darn cool. It is a little um, box sticker list pad. Um, so you could use like a pastel color and then the lines are in white or you could use a really, really deep dark color and um, write on it with a gel pen. Um, there's the stack of books. This says turn to page and then there's a, a space for you to write it in. Um, there's the mini that she started putting in the stamp sets. So cute. Oh my gosh. 
highlights, um, book club, synopsis. So if you love books, um, they will be releasing whatever leftovers they have of this kit. Um, and there's the digital files, the giant succulent, so pretty. Love that. I haven't started using the stamp kits. It's on my bucket list for this year to start using the stamps. <coughs> All right. Um, here are the two additional pages of stickers. Not additional. These are the... So if you order just the kit without the additional papers, without the additional sticker book, you get these two pages of stickers. So there's one that's all deco. It's got the main girl from the kit and she's just like the original. You get a nice strip sticker. And then the second page has what you would need if you wanted to date the monthly. So you can download Lux inserts um, or uh, dated or undated or the basic inserts, but um, you can actually use them vertically, their columns print them out happy planner, classic happy planner size, or whatever size you use. And this would all gives you everything you need, for example, to set up your monthly view. So you've got your set of dates for across the top of the seven columns, and then you've got one through 31. So no matter what month you wanna set it up as, you've got, the only thing you're missing is the actual month sticker, but there are tons and tons of ways to go ahead and do that. And um, you've got your sticker showing what next month's kit is. In this case, it's Dream Chaser, which if you love Japan or Asian stuff, um, those of you that have followed me for a while, you know I love, I lived and worked in, in Shanghai for a while and in Tokyo for a while. This kit has purple koi pond vibes, um, which is, <laughs> and koi don't come in purple. So it's super magical. I cannot wait to get my hands on this next kit, Dream Chaser. But first I gotta give a, all the due love that this kit deserves. So those are those two. Um, and then we have die cuts. So die cuts are like um, slightly thicker. They're like this paper. They're, they're, not, they're thicker than 32 pound. I, I hesitate to say they're card stock. I, I guess they're a light card stock. You know what I mean? It's it's hard to describe. But so these are the die cuts, and you're gonna see a lot of the similar themes um, from the stickers and the papers repeated all through the kit. So first we have this card that um, is kind of the intro. This was one of the most popular stickers in the original kit. Um, this in little sticker size, and I have like I said, I have used that sticker. I think almost every copy of that sticker I have, I'm just noticing, there it is right there. The book was better. How many of you have read the book and watched the movie? I always watch the movie first if I can, because the book's going to be even better and I don't want it to ruin the movie. So true magic lives within the pages of a book. So slightly different, same graphic, different quote. Love that. Okay. And then the back side just has a little bit, it has the main character of the, of the kit. Catherine XOXO and her little quote. I'm not going to read that to you. Um, but super cute. You can use this art card. You can frame this and use it as a cover. I mean, one of my favorite things to do is to take the back side of one of these because to do it, to make a cover for a classic happy planner, this way it won't work. You need to turn it this way and then frame that. And they all work so well together. I mean, these colors work so well together. Cut this to the size you need and then laminate that together to make a happy planner cover. That's one of my favorite things to do. And I do have videos on how I make my covers. Um, I'll try to remember to link one in the cards up above. I have one for both five mil laminator or five mil laminate sheets and 10 mil. Um, I do double five. That's the one laminator that most people have access to. So I will link that one. Um, okay, die cuts. So these now have an adhesive back you don't have to use the adhesive because that it doesn't peel off too easily, like if you didn't want it to. So here's just a nice envelope with um, the, our succulents and books on it. Here's a big, a nice big to-do list. This would maybe work in a dashboard, classic size happy planner. Um, here's another nice big, like this could go on one of these sheets of paper as like a nameplate. To write your name and the year or love books or something like that some kind of quote in there um, and then we have Catherine our book lover 
and we just have lots then of deco like there's from the bottom of this sticker sheet there is a slightly larger version of the of the bookshelf here's another little pile of books and a coffee and a succulent there here's some books on a shelf and a little stack of succulents, more stacks of books, individual succulents and individual little books. Here's just a little fl flourish you could put somewhere, like above your name. Here are just more. Oh, there's a mini in here this month. There's another stack of books. Here's a mini. Looks like she's reading or playing with an iPad, or is that her planner? I can't tell, it might be her planner. We'll say it's her planner, how about that? More books, more books, more succulents. Here's another little flourish. So you could book, you could put one at the top and the bottom. If you wanted to laminate it, you could write your, you could write your name and use them side to side. So here's another, another book. More books, more books, and succulents. And there we have some of the keys, the Harry Potter keys. <laughs> I just want there to be wings on these, you know? <laughs> more books, more succulents, so pretty. I like to use these in my monthly view because they're, they're slightly larger than the stickers. Top down views of the succulents. So there we go, those are all the die cuts. Okay, um, so all I have left then is the washi tape and the sticker book. So let's go ahead. I'm not going to go ahead and open this one since I already have one uh, copy of it opened. So here is the sticker book. So this is the additional stickers. If you do the sticker only subscription, this is what you get. If you add the stickers, additional sticker pack to your kit, this is what you get. So here we go. And this is meant, um, if you watch the lives, this is meant then to be 100% usable or at least as much as possible. So this piece of acetate is whole size, so you can pull that off and use it for something. Um, looks like mine has something spilled on it. That's okay, I'll wipe that off. Um, it could be nail polish remover, in which case it is permanent, but that's okay. This piece also too then can be flattened out and used or laminated to make some kind of cover or something. So here we go, stickers. So this is gold foil. Some of the pages have gold foil accents. So there's Catherine, cup of coffee, the succulents hanging down like we saw on that one sheet of paper. This is, um, it's it, you can use it as one big sticker. It's also divided into individual stickers so you can use as much of it or as little of it as you want. You can pull this strip off the bottom and use it. This side strip on all of these pages, the side strip is not cut out, but it is printed. It's not cut out due to manufacturing limitations. But Sammy said she she designs something to be there. Got, so let me tell you, I've done this before. It is super, super easy to take your craft knife and just kind of cut along here so that you have another usable sticker right there. Super, super easy. Okay, here we have these are the quotes now. They're all at the bottom of the second page. So the book was better. Add it to the list. Go water your plants. So there's some fun stuff. There's some stuff that fits with the feeling of the kit. And there's also a little bit of functional stuff. More keys. There's another one of the characters from the kit. Okay, so we had a foil page and now we have a non-foiled page. Here we have another foiled page. So this one is cut out, this one down here. This is not, but it's super easy, like I said, to just go ahead and run your craft knife along there and kiss cut and use that. So uh, you'll see a lot of these match a lot of the die cuts we had, the little flourish there, the little stack up. Super cute. Okay, so here we have the page with the minis. So half of them are themed to match the kit. So sitting, reading a book, some little peekaboos. Um, and then these are all functional. So drinking coffee, shopping. Um, I think she's making a list. I'm gonna have to get my glasses. Wow, I'm getting old. Um, there's one vacuuming. What is she doing? She looks like she's just reading from a list or maybe holding onto her planner. Grocery shopping. This one's got a holding a teeny, teeny, tiny little succulent. So watering her plants. 
So there's one with a birthday cake. She's planning. She's sick. She's um, chopping vegetables, working on her computer, more peekaboos. This is what you look like when you stay up too late reading. <laughs> um, so there's the page of minis. Okay, so then we get four pages that you can use, again, to set up a monthly, to set up um, a weekly, to, to use a blank, like a note page and just make your own, um, to do the inserts, print out the inserts and use them on those. And that way you can start. So if you're one of those that it drives you nuts that the weeks in Happy Planner start on Mondays instead of Sundays, you have four weeks of these that you can use. And I know some months there are five weeks instead of four, but four weeks of this. And then you, if you get the full kit, you have one more week there. You don't have to use it for the monthly because those already start on Sundays, but you could redo your happy planner to have a Sunday start instead of a Monday start. For example, one way to use these. So you'll see this one's got um, gold foil accents. This again is several separate stickers that you can use apart or together. You can stack them up and use them as a big long sidebar sticker, which I've done before, or you can use the individual elements. And again, you can cut out, you can use, add on this sidebar sticker. So this sticker is cut right here. It doesn't touch the books, but it would be super easy to add the books on. Okay, so here's our, our second page. So this one's got lots of pinks and browns. This one's got lots of greens and it's more about the succulents and there is no gold foil on this one. If we go to the third one, we're back to having the gold accents and here we've got the keys making a, an appearance, more pinks and browns. And then the fourth one, the foiling goes away again. So you get two of each. And then this one's got, you could write, you could write right on this. It's basically an iPad with a gel pen. Um, and there's, we've got some greens and browns. We've got some coffee and a book. Just, I like how they all fit with the kit, but they all feature different aspects of the kit. So it's just a fun, I love the way she does these books now. And then this one is, um, these are, these are a matte, uh, clear sticker paper. So, but they're not super shiny, which is perfect in my opinion. I don't like the super shiny ones. Look at this big succulent stack up. This is the kind of thing that I like to use in my wellness planner and split across the middle of the spine. So I have half on each side of the week. I love those big ones. Nice little corner sticker. It's not cut straight off to be a corner, but it would be great to use in a corner. Same with this one. Okay, we're back to paper stickers now because these are more functional so you can write on them. So we've got our post-it notes, lots of boxes. These all over here, you see the little white dots. Those are actually checklist stickers. It's hard to see the cut lines, but there are little, um, there are longer six dot ones and there are shorter three dot ones. And you get two pages of these. So here's the other page. So we've got kind of an overlay. There are dots here. These are checklists again, and so are these. You can kind of start to see the cut lines a little bit on those. And then instead of the post-it notes over here, we have, these are bullet points. So you can use these to color code. You can use them um, to make checklists like I do in my dashboard planner. Lots of uses for those. And these are strip stickers. So they're not actual washi tape, um, but they are strips that you could use kind of like washi tape. If you just get the sticker only subscription, you've got a couple um, strip stickers to use because you don't have the washi tape that came, comes with the full kit. And then the last page, again, this is clear and it's got the gold foil. So you've got some functional words, self-care food next week, this week, now noteworthy. And then they repeat self-care food, health, wellness, exercise goals later, something new, keep going. Weekend, Sunday, Saturday days. So you've got some days of the week there. And then here you have some teeny, teeny, tiny little days of the week. So if you're in a mini, if you want something for the tabs, um, and then you've got day off and work stickers as well, if you need to keep track of something like that. And that is it. So what I've started doing is swatching the washi tape on inside the back cover of the book. So I'm going to pause this get these open, save these stickers. These stickers are still sticky on the back side. Save these stickers, you can use them um, to label your kit storage, however you store your kit. So I'm gonna get these open and, and then we'll swatch them. Okay, so I have my three stickers on there. Let's go ahead and swatch the washi. 
Jazzy's sitting on the edge of my desk. We gotta get this done before he decides to uh, interrupt us. So I'm gonna start with the widest one at the bottom. Widest. There we go. So pretty. Oh, I love this one. And then, so that one's got the bookshelf design with some gold foil. It matches my nails. Well, some of my nails. <laughs> so pretty. I love the, the saturation, the red. Red red is not my favorite color. Green is, but there's something about this kit. And of course, I love to read. There were never enough hours before bedtime for when I wanted to read when I was a kid. I could read Stephen King. I could read straight through the night, a good Stephen King book. Um, okay, and then last is the Skinny, which has a great, my favorite, ombre. So they all have gold foil. So there are the different succulents on kind of a, a latte, <laughs> depending on how dark you like your coffee background. And then this ombre, it's got a really subtle ombre from light pink to dark kind of maroon with the gold hearts. So pretty. So there is my washi tape. I just stuck these on the back as placeholders when I put my kit in its storage envelope um, or do my lamination, my laminating. I have a video for how I make now a trifold to hold all this stuff in its strings. Um, I will use one of these to label my kit storage and to label my paper storage. So that is the entire kit. I hope you like this video. Um, again, I just really, I love Planners Anonymous. They're a small business. I love supporting small businesses. And so I love showing off their stuff so that you can see the kinds of things that you would be signing up to get. If you are interested, feel free to use my um, discount code uh, for 10% off your first kit. I also get a few loyalty points there, um, which I actually haven't used any of those yet. I need to I need to get around to using those. Um, I think I can use them for discounts and some different things. So if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.